Okay, so uh, we're about to start talking about passing lists to functions. Um, there are no lists in this program, however. This is more like a primer program. Uh, before we talk about passing lists to functions, I want to take a closer look at what happens when you pass just a simple variable value to a function. Uh, and by simple, I just mean like an int or a float or a string or something like that. Okay, so we, we know that the list is more sophisticated. That's a larger object in memory. But what happens when we pass just a dinky little number to a function? So I have a, a function which I've called square. And it has a single parameter, which I'm calling i. That's going to represent the integer that I'm going to pass into this function. And once i comes through the door here, we're going to square it, okay? I'm going to say i times i, and then overwrite the original value. So if I pass a 3 into here, which I'm going to, that's going to turn into a 9, basically, okay? And then we're going to print that value, that number 9, from the function, right? So um, then I'm going to, uh, in main here, I'm going to create my number 3, as I said I would, and then I'm going to pass that number 3, to the square function to try to turn it into a 9. Okay, let me run it. And then I'm going to print the value of, uh, of the number here in main. Okay, so I'm printing the number twice, once up in the function and then once down here in main. Uh-oh, sorry about that. I have a um, typo there. Oops, that would be number. Okay, so I'm going to run that. Look at this output here. Here in the function, the number is 9, as expected. So the 3 came through the door. It was squared. We overwrote that parameter value. So the 3 became a 9, and we printed the 9 from the function. Down here in main, however, the number is still 3. And that's a, that's a key point here. So we created the, num the number variable, variable. We put a 3 into it. We passed the number to the function to make turn it into a 9. And the function did do that. Okay. But here in main, the original number was untouched, okay? So really what happens here is, you know, when we're, we're passing that number to the function, it's really a copy of the number, all right? So the original 3, the original number 3, this one, just kind of stayed untouched down here in main. And then, you know, sent a copy of itself up to the function. The function squared it, printed a 9 from there in the function. So we really had like two, two variables going on here. Uh, one was the original pristine preserved value, and then you had the one that the function changed. All right. So um, in other languages, this is called pass by value, but you know um, Python doesn't really use that terminology. Python uses the the word immutable. So we would say that number, in this case the three, was immutable, meaning cannot be changed or doesn't change. And you saw the function didn't change it. The original value stayed as it was down here in main. Um, and so the simple data types are like that. When you pass them to functions, they, they go as copies of themselves, but the original stays. And um, so the simple data types, again, that I mean by the, like the ints and floats and uh, strings and, uh, you know, those types of, of data. So anyway, with that in mind, let's talk about what happens when we pass lists to functions, and we'll do that in the next video.